Hi, Megan. Is this Matilda again? I'm really happy to see her. Okay, just let the leash, she can just let the leash go. And um, just take a, stop giving her eye contact, take a step forward toward me, and she might then pick up a direction. So you can turn your hips toward me and take a step, there she goes, okay. You can drop the leash. Okay, so in this rep, our second rep, I feel comfortable enough for uh, Matilda just to drag that leash. And I'm working actively on stage one. Now, this is the foundation. So I need for her to feel safe enough to be by my side, wait for at least five seconds, and then get a treat to mouth. But I'm also looking at that body language. I need for her to be standing nice and square, not pulled back, nor reaching uh, tall and reaching forward. So nice square body. I want her to be thoughtful. There she is, a treat to mouth. Still the treats are coming quite quickly. There's no duration, no duration of waiting for the food because if you think about it, that's a lot of social pressure. If you're unsure about people to wait for something is social pressure. Following that same pattern, one to dog, two away. Now I sent her a little farther back there because I just changed my chair just a little tiny bit. How quickly we go through each stage is really dog dependent. Some dogs we have to slice the variables so very, very thin. I really want the dog to be able to come toward me and go, um, what the, oh, that's okay, as opposed to what the, oh my gosh, I'm feeling unsafe. doing very nicely for the second rep. Again, nice short rep. Take a little break and then we'll see what happens in rep number three.